Merry Christmas. I'm Jody Pritzel, author of Vintage American Made Glass Christmas Ornaments and Immigrants, Ornaments, and Legacies, a story of American Made Glass Christmas Ornaments. Thanks for buying my books from Amazon.com. And thanks for sharing your tree and asking ornament questions through BooksbyJody.com. I can't wait to see what you decorate this year. Lanterns push us forward. They push away the darkness. And the thing I like about American-made glass Christmas ornament lanterns is I think they're pretty much American designed. There wasn't a huge European influence. I'll get to that in just a minute. If you go back to 1939 and remember your Corning Glassworks history, Wellsboro, Pennsylvania, in 1939, Corning blew the first American-made glass Christmas ornaments, but they only blew rounds. In 1940, the first lantern came out, and it was this one. For sure it came in blue, red, gold, and silver. I think it's a super cool ornament. This would be considered the first Corning lantern. Find a spot for that one on the tree, huh? In 1941, according to this illustration, Corning introduced two more styles of lanterns. You have the star lantern and you have the beaded lantern. In the illustration, they call this a plain lantern. This is lantern with star. I'm calling this a beaded lantern for simplicity's sake. This is the star lantern. Both super cool ornaments dating back to 1941. And I'm going to say they were influenced by this illustration of an imported ornament from 1932. Look closely at the sides. You see the beaded element? You see the four crosses? Very similar to the star. I think the 1932 ornament might have influenced these two different styles of lanterns. Could be. It's a good premise. I always like to discover something new. Let's go ahead and put the Star Lantern on. The Star Lantern, by the way, also came in two colors. They were hand painted. As was this hand painted beaded lantern. This was hand painted also. So you've got some super cool different styles and paint jobs of the lanterns that you could collect if you so desire. Lumped together with the star lantern and the beaded lantern, a lot of collectors talk about the tic-tac-toe lantern. I just love learning new things. I don't like being bamboozled, so let's call myself out on this one. I'm holding two different tic-tac-toe lanterns. This one has a 1939 shiny bright cap on it. That's where the bamboozling comes in because it doesn't fit. This one has a premier cap and it fits perfectly. Remember, you cannot interchange a premier cap with a corning bulb. So I think premier glassworks came out with the tic-tac-toe lantern. We have a tendency to lump that in with the beaded lantern and the Star Lantern, but I'm going to say Premier Glassworks, probably about 1940, issued the Tic-Tac-Toe Lantern. I know a lot of you are collecting Premier ornaments. This is a nice one to add to your collection. Super cool. Um, let's put that one down here. Safe place for it. Lamp or Lantern. Premier Glassworks, this is their railroad lantern. Now, technically, supposedly, a lamp is supposed to have a carrying handle. If you're working on the trains or working on the railroads at night and using your lantern, yeah, it would make sense that it had a handle, but they called this a railroad lantern. So I'm going to go with Premier. I'm not going to argue with them because they were very successful. And I'm going to say this is their railroad lantern, which was a style of lantern that I think is very nifty. Very nifty. And you'll see that one in all kinds of styles and colors. Um, they come in a red and green version, and then there's a silver gold version. This is the Premier Glassworks Carriage Lantern. 
super cool. Love premier ornaments. Yes, I think this year we'll do a premier tree. Just nothing but premieres up there. If you fast forward out of the 1940s, well, let me, let me stop for a second and say war years. You can find the beaded lantern in a transparent. You can also see in this illustration came in a cardboard cap. I was outbid three times last year for a transparent beaded lantern. I thought I was over it. Not really sure that I'm over it, but you know, it's great to have the hunt continue. 1954, we have a little bit of a controversy because this is a barrel. This is a carriage lantern. You say tomato, I say tomato, potato, potato. Barrel, carriage lamp. I still argue that this is a carriage lantern, not a carriage lamp, lantern. George Frankie had a carriage lantern that they frosted the rims on. That's what I'm holding in this hand. Remember, you can interchange George Frankie, Shiny Bright, because they're both the identical corning bulbs. So super cool one. I always have to give George Frankie his due. Make sure he goes on it. You know, I usually do a separate George Frankie tree every year too. Because they have so many neat ornaments. You know, along with the stencils. Shiny Bright and George Frankie also have very unique styles of stencils. So look close at them and make sure that you're you're calling them either George Frankie or Shiny Brights. The 1950s, the styles of lanterns changed. We always had to come up with new ornaments to keep the cycle of buying to continue. This is a party lantern. They come in fabulous colors. I like the party lantern. It's kind of a bigger bulb, but it's got a lot of... I don't know, it just feels good, you know? And... The Chinese Lantern, again, comes in some really cool, nifty colors. So I'm going to put that on the tree. Your Party Lantern, Chinese Lantern, those are two very different styles. of. Uh, they're not different. They're, they look a lot alike. Let's see where we'll go with that. Safe place. Whoa. Whew. I mentioned it. Carriage Lamp. This is a carriage lamp, not a carriage lantern. Remember, we had the carriage lantern. It is this one. This is a carriage lamp. I'm going to say it was inspired by this European 1890s ornament, which I'm not going to hang on the tree because I'm too frightened to do that. Look at the bottoms. I think the carriage lamp was inspired by this from Europe. If you collect European ornaments or you collect American ornaments, this one I want to clarify for everyone out there. This is a West German lantern sold by Woolworths. It's a spectacular ornament. I just want to point out that it's not American made because it was so popular. I've got a, probably five of these. Um, they're great. They're just not American made. So if you're going to buy this and you're collecting European, thumbs up. If you're thinking you're buying this and it's American made, thumbs down. So super cool. Collect what you like. That's what I always say. Collect what you like. Lanterns. I'd mix in lanterns with bells and maybe some rounds. And you have this great tree. Can't wait to see what you come up with this year. Thanks for watching my videos and buying my books. Merry Christmas.